Hey everybody, Chip here with another episode of Main Street Mower. And guess what? This machine is running right now. It's on, it's off. It's on, it's off. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Imagine how nice it would be to have a quiet grandstand. The best stander on the market, but electric. This is the new grandstand revolution. It's the absolute best idea Toro's had at this point. Guys, this is a fully electric grandstand, 52 inch. It's an all new kind of style and design, but at the same time, all the things that you really love about grandstand. We're gonna talk a lot about this grandstand revolution today. So stay tuned to watch that. It's gonna be pretty cool. Here we go. So let's talk about some of the features and just kind of walk around a little bit. We got solid front wheels, just like the normal grandstand. We have a turbo force deck, just like the normal grandstand. It has these new I-beam construction front end, more like the 4000, which I think is cool. Has a kind of an all new tower set up, same similar frame, but new controls. Has a cup holder, which it never had before. Has a nice spot for your phone. You could slap this baby up here and have it riding with you. Even has USB charge port. You could be charging your phone. We have the same operating position. We have the same height of cut assembly, which just works so well. We have the same deck lift. Guys, it's basically a grandstand, but they figured out how to electrify, <laughs> make it electric, right? It's electrical. Toro went through great lengths to make sure the steering, the way these wheel motors engage and disengage, feel perfect. They feel just like a normal grandstand. They feel absolutely flawless. You could throw a new operator who's used grandstands in the past on this electric grandstand. They're gonna hop on it and be able to use it without a problem, like right away. It has all kinds of cool features where it'll be more efficient and, and can cut and do different things than you've done before. There's no belts on this machine, it's just blade motors and wheel motors, and then a control module. It's very, very simple. This has a battery, eight battery packs in it that Toro make themselves. This is a Toro patented battery design. If I were to lift this lid off, there's eight battery cells, banks. They're like Tesla batteries. They're in these little suitcases. They're honeycomb shaped. They have airflow. They're waterproof. The way they're rigged in here, they're removable, replaceable. They're only connected by a few wires. And say one of them goes bad, you can unconnect it, pull it out, reconnect all your wires. You can run without that battery if you wanted to. Or you can replace this, that battery. There's all kinds of nice technology to diagnose and figure out what's going on with it. That's always the kind of the fear. I get this electric machine. What am I gonna do? It's so mysterious. It's running on invisible power. How does it work? And Toro is a company that backs their brand or their, their models really well, right? And, and Toro's been making mowers for over 100 years, right? They understand mowers. You have other brands like Greenworks and Mean Green. They're a battery company and they're like, we gotta build a mower. And so now they're building a mower and they have a mower attached to their battery system. Toro built the best grandstand, the best zero turn stander on the market and then they converted it to battery, right? They've already figured out the best ergonomics, the best stance, the best way to use it, the best deck, the best everything. Best, best, best. And then they said, let's make this thing the best battery on the market. And I believe they've absolutely accomplished it with that. This thing has run times that are insane. They have run times that are between eight and 12 hours, depending on the setting and pitch of the deck. You can actually adjust the pitch of your deck. There's some levers here, and you can actually adjust the pitch of your deck to change your run time. So depending on your grass, grass you could have a standard setup, but you could customize it. If you're running low on battery, you can set how much battery to let there be when it you know, warns you there's low battery, so you can always make it back to your car. Yes, yeah, science! Most tests they were doing, they were letting big landscape crews use these for weeks and weeks and weeks testing them in Florida rain and all the bad weather and they did, were doing great. And they were saying most days they got home and they still only had like four hours of battery used up of their 12 or 10 or whatever it was, right? It, it really does vary on the grass type. If you have a mulch kit, the blade type, your pitch, but between eight and 12 hours is what these batteries can do. They said like you don't have to charge it as long because they're only like a third empty or a half empty, right? They're not fully empty. You would have to mow straight like 10 hours, nonstop, not eat, like eating lunch while mowing, yeah, 
to use up the battery. Like that's not happening. So you don't have to necessarily even charge this thing every day. You could be charging this every other day. And, but you could charge it every day. It does take 12 hours to charge fully, but like I said, most landscapers using it, even in Florida where there's heavy grass conditions, heavy use, are only charging it you know, four to six hours throughout the night. But if your crew's cutting off late or whatever, there's plenty of time to do that. I got to go up to Toro headquarters and uh, have them walk us all the way around it, and talk about it. We asked all the hard questions, you know, how do we work on this? How do we know if it's that? How do we know if that? We've already got to send our text to Revolution Grandstand School. So we already dialed in. I know how to replace wheel motors, how to replace deck motors, how to, how to figure out which is what. And guys, the truth is these things are so simple. It's kind of scary. As like, as a maintenance provider, it's kind of scary to think of like how less maintenance, how much less maintenance these are going to require. I mean, because obviously we sell maintenance, but at the same time, it's fantastic for our customers, right? Like this is blade free or belt free, guys. This has no blades. It cuts with lasers. Big in laser in the shot. No, this has no belts, right? So you don't have belts to worry about. It has no bearings, deck bearings. You don't have to worry about those. It has no transmission belt. You don't have to worry about those. It's very, very simplified. To change it, any of these parts is easy. Like maintenance on this thing is, is gonna be the least of your worries. Obviously price matters, guys. Price matters. And a machine like this is not cheap. It is a lot more than a standard grandstand. A landscaper like yourself could buy a normal grandstand for 10 to 12,000, and this thing is gonna be costing closer to 30, 34, somewhere in that range, right? Depending if you buy it uh, promo or if you buy it on fleet pricing, the prices vary a little bit. Obviously, if you buy this on fleet, you get a better deal. People are gonna be financing this kind of machine. Most people aren't gonna be paying cash for it. And if you were to finance it for 48 months, you can get this payment down to around uh, $700, $710. Or if you have it on promo uh, or fleet, you could get it around $650. And that's a month, right? And if you were to compare that to a standard 52, an equivalent machine, but gas, it's gonna be around $350 more a month, right? And so the other thing is fuel prices like they are, are expensive. If we were to average fuel price right now at $4 a gallon and you use four gallons a day, five days a week, and you multiply that out, the difference between owning this and a standard grandstand is only about $75 a month. If you were to figure in fuel prices and some basic maintenance, you make money when you are cutting grass right and a machine like this is not cheap and so we it begs the question is it worth it and why would somebody buy a machine like this uh, what is the value add for a landscaper like yourself so let's talk about how the grandstand revolution can make you money versus just using a standard grandstand because i am still a huge fan of the standard grandstand i am not suggesting that this is everybody's solution to lawn care but i do think maybe in the next five years that this might be on everybody's truck I have to tell you about the it is that good. When you use it, you can justify it in your head. Your numbers start to change. The way you think about landscaping starts to change. And guys, right now with fuel prices like they are, this thing makes more sense than ever. And I think it makes sense even if gas prices are at an all-time low. Because this machine sets you apart. Here's the first reason. It sets you apart. You know, it's a beautiful spot. Like you couldn't mow this during the middle of the afternoon without getting some complaints. But we can mow this right now because this machine is so quiet. This machine sets you apart that you can bid on accounts that require quiet. Accounts that require you to either operate at a different decibel level, right? Like that's actually a thing nowadays. You can't buy brand new zero turns in California, I think starting now or in the very, very near future. So like this would enable somebody in California to mow big areas very easily. And there's no better supported product, an American made product that is doing battery right now than the Toro Grandstand Revolution. So if you're out there and you're looking for a great zero turn product that'll allow you to mow in say California because of regulations, here's an option, right? You know, we're in central Florida, we're in Orlando, specifically Winter Garden right now. There are still plenty of accounts around here that require certain decibel levels, maybe a hotel, right? You can't mow a hotel while people are trying to sleep. Did you wake me up? You're gonna get all kinds of complaints, but with an electric mower, you could mow that hotel at night or in the evening or very early in the morning, right? This changes the game on when you can start and stop your day, right? In the winter, when it gets dark earlier, you can even mow until bedtime, right? Until like little kids are going to bed at eight. 
because this is quieter. The noise does not travel very far. You might disturb that one spot, but you're not gonna disturb all the neighborhood, right? This is a very quiet machine. You heard it as I pulled up. It just sounds like an electric golf cart. It's just it's barely. My name is Jeff. So I'm basically silent. When you turn the blades on, you do have wind noise. But it's very, very quiet compared to any other. And the lower lift blade you put on it, the even quieter you can get. So that's just another interesting option. If, if silence is key, then you can make this thing really, really quiet. They're gonna get a Shh. I Shh. I'm just we Shh. 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 knock knock. Who's there? Shh. Think about like a horse uh, equestrian centers, right? Or a zoo where you gotta keep animals calm, right? This mower can allow you to get these contracts and accounts that maybe you couldn't bid on before. And it maybe can set you apart where you don't have to compete so much on price. People can't offer that kind of service, but this would put you in a new bracket, a new tier that would allow you to do so. Um, you show up with all electric equipment, say I can mow any time of the day. You don't have to hire some night crew to run all night. You can mow it during the afternoon. You can do all kinds of different things. It really changes the game, right? Guys, another thing about landscaping is it is kind of a dirty, tough job, right? You are bombarded with vibration and noise all day. I, you know, I work in a service shop, so I'm hearing the angle grinder, I'm hearing all kinds of engines revving all day, and I get home and nothing I value more than like just hearing silence, hearing the birds, hear myself think for a second. Is that you breathing? Because I, I can't hear myself think. This machine is gonna give you that experience more often than riding a gas mower. You're not gonna be bombarded with the vibration and the noise and the hectic ah, 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 all day, right? You can enjoy the outdoors much more when you're using a machine like this because it is so much quieter, so much more enjoyable. You could park in the shade of this thing or you could get off and talk to a customer. You don't even have to turn it off. You just ride up to them, turn the blades off and you could speak with them. It adds a level of comfort and professionalism that I don't think just you're gonna enjoy, but if you had these for your crew, like your crew's gonna enjoy. We talked to a few different companies that run crews of fully electric stuff right now. We've been demoing these uh, all over the state. Every single crew leader that we've talked to and even crew members who have been operating them say, I, I don't wanna ever go back. Once they've used this, it's changed their whole perspective on landscaping. It's no longer the dirty, painful, grimy job. It raises the bar on how you feel about your job. We were driving around bringing this thing here and literally landscapers will, were stopping what they were doing and it was like a moment like, oh, Whoa. oh. Whoa. nice. Ooh, this is nice. Mad respect kind of look. Respect, mad respect. Bro. Bro. It was cool, because they, they understood what this is. And if you have that kind of thing going on, you have landscapers automatically recognizing, they see this on a property, it might be easier to hire people with a machine like this. Because if they see this on your crew, they know that you mean business, you have the best of the best, the top of the line. People like working for people with the best of the best, the top of the line. They don't like working with people with the janky, tied together equipment, with the broken seat, with no backrest that is hurting them all day long. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. You're gonna hand this to a guy he's gonna feel like dignity and like proud of using it. And I think there's a lot of value to that. I don't know, it makes you feel special, right? And there's a lot of value to that. Not losing your employees, there's a lot of value to that. Uh, gaining new employees, a lot of value to that. They see a crew riding around with all electric, really nice stuff. They might be calling you when they're looking for their next job or whatever, right? So that's something to think about. Another beautiful advantage of an electric machine. I've always thought of the initial electric machines that were out there, electric cars, right? You had the Prius, you had the Volt. They were kind of puny. They were weak, they were slow, they were boring, they weren't interesting. Nobody who liked cars and horsepower and like exciting things like that were buying these cars. Those people who were very environmentally conscious. But now, electric has gotten totally different, right? Electric has gone to a whole nother level with Tesla showing us how fast cars can be with like the Roadster and all the different Tesla models. And now everyone's starting to get on the game that electric can mean power. And what does that mean for lawnmowers? Is, it, is this more like a Prius or is this more like a Tesla Roadster? And guys, I'm happy to report this thing has got power, baby. Yeah, baby, yeah! This machine has around 40 to 50 horsepower depending on the setting you put it on. It is the most powerful 
zero turn on the market. And it's a stinking standard 52 inch. It flies, it'll whip through grass like you've never whipped through grass. It is insanely powerful. It chucks, it chews, it eats, man. It is absolutely a baller. And I love that Toro slammed as many batteries in this thing as humanly possible. And it is an absolute turner. It pushes. I love this machine. But guys, it's still a finished mower. It's not a bush hog. You're not supposed to absolutely dog it. And <clears throat> they're not cheap, so you don't want to like hurt your nice, most expensive mower. But don't fear that this machine isn't going to be powerful enough for any job you have for it. It is the most powerful machine I've driven. And it is insane what it can cut. I've tried every other green machine and green works machine, and none of them compare to the Toro Grandstand Revolution. None of them feel the same way this one does. If you have the opportunity to test one of these, not just at GIE, but go to a Toro dealer, request a demo. If you're in Orlando, come request a demo with us. If this is something you are interested in and you see the value add to this in your business, this is something that you can basically order right now. There's not a ton of inventory on them, so if you were to order one, you might not get one for a few weeks, but it is a part number, it is an available item at this moment. So it's something worth exploring, and if your company is like on the edge of buying something, like another product, don't yet! The Toro Revolution's here, baby! And it's the best, so don't mess around. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Chip with Main Street Mower. Toro's obviously hooked us up with this beautiful demo here. I am greatly in, uh, indebted and appreciate them for doing that. Guys, from the bottom of my heart, Main Street Mower is a great mower shop. We want to take great care of you. If you're a landscaper in Orlando, Central Florida, Claremont, or Ocala, we have locations in all three of those areas, and we want to be your mower shop. We want to take good care of you. And we're going to have trained guys on all these machines and on all the other Toro products. We also sell dingo. We sell trailers and we're gonna take great care of you. Guys, come by and see us at Main Street Mower. Appreciate you. Like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you.